Good afternoon, welcome back to my channel. On this sunny autumnal day, I decided that it's time to share with you some of the new clothing and beauty items that I purchased recently for this cozy season that is here already. The first thing that I got is already on me. This is a mock turtleneck from the brand which is called Other Stories. I didn't know about the existence of this brand for a very long time and I discovered it just this summer which is very strange because it is definitely something that has lots of me in it. It has lots of pieces that fit my style very well. So I got a really nice summer dress there this summer and now at the beginning of autumn I went to the shop and got this top. It is a dark navy top. It has a mock turtleneck here as I said. It also has nice ruffles on the neck and also on the sleeves. It is a little bit striped as you can see and I think it is a very good basic layer which you can then complement with other pieces like with sweaters, shirts and things like that. Right now I'm wearing it with dark navy velvet pants. These are from Massimo Dutti. These are their classic velvet pants that they usually uh, do every season. Uh, I'm going to finish this look by adding another new piece uh, in my wardrobe. This is a flannel shirt. I am a fan of flannel shirts, as you know. And this one is from Uniqlo. Not a surprise as well. All of my flannel shirts are from Uniqlo. So this one is from this year's collection in Uniqlo. I purchased it uh, during our time on the French Riviera. This is going to be in the vlog, which is not published on my channel yet. You will see how I got this one uh, in Uniqlo in Cannes-sur-Mer. So I am going to add this shirt to this look. This shirt has dark green, dark navy, black, a little bit of red and a little bit of white colors in it. So it makes it cool to pair it with um, the outfits that have these colors, so I think the dark navy is going to look good with a dark navy top that I already have on. I'm going to button it down and then I'm going to tuck in the shirt to create a better silhouette. I think it looks pretty nice. I really love the way this top combines with this shirt. I really think that this look would be complete if we add a sweater draped over the shoulders. This wool sweater is from MASH. It has a beautiful rich beige color. The other thing that I got is this very cute hat. Uh, it is from Uniqlo as well. I purchased it together with this shirt. I'm not sure it's going to fit with this outfit, but I actually think it will. So that is the way the hat looks on me. Also, I could add a little pearl string here to add some elegance and femininity to the outfit. That is my first autumnal look with the new items that I have in my wardrobe this season. To make a little break in the fashion pieces that I have purchased for this autumn season, I want to speak about beauty right now. I have purchased a few uh, makeup products recently and I really want to share with you what kind of makeup products I bought and what I loved about them, what maybe I'm not sure I love about them. So let's go. The first one is a mascara. This mascara is not new to the market at all. And I have had uh, this kind of mascara before, but I have never had this color of a mascara before. So here in my hands, I have Yves Saint Laurent mascara. And the color of this mascara is... Uh, 05 burgundy color. I really really hope you can see the color very well on the screen. This is a burgundy colored mascara and I would say that in real life it looks a little bit darker than the normal burgundy color and that is the perfect mascara for autumn. Really, I have never had a mascara that I felt would be more appropriate for the season. At first, I was uh, afraid that it would make my eyes look tired because, you know, warm toned eyeshadows and mascara and eye pencils, they tend to make your eyes look tired, like you have cried on all night. But this mascara is really not the case. It just, um, if especially if you have blue eyes, it makes the color of your eyes pop and uh, it gives a really cool, warm, autumnal touch to your makeup. I really recommend this mascara for you. And also if you're a fan of uh, natural um, 
natural brushes in mascara this uh, this uh, Senora mascara has a really good brush so that was the first product then uh, the second product is for eye makeup as well I have not used um, eye pencils uh, for almost 10 years I think I think the last time I used eye pencils in my makeup was in my high school years but one day I was in Sephora and eye pencils caught my eye and I decided that I want to give them a try I want to get an eye pencil and maybe I will fall in love with doing my eye makeup with pencils again not with eyeshadows before uh, all of the time I use eyeshadows uh, to do all of my eye makeup except the mascara so I decided to buy an eye pencil from NARS I chose this one because I liked its color and I liked how pigmented it is I liked how easily it was to draw with it and I also wanted to have an eye pencil which you can sharpen uh, by yourself because those uh, automatic ones I feel like they are never sharp enough so I chose this NARS uh, eye pencil I will write on the screen the name of the shade because it is not written the name of the shade on the pencil itself for some reason this is uh, basically a very dark brown when I was trying it uh, on my hand in Sephora it felt more brownish than it looks on the eyes I have it actually right now on my eyes it is very dark uh, brown color it feels almost black I think I wished it was a little bit um, lighter but it is the way it is and also I have the burgundy uh, Saint Laurent mascara on at the moment I'm sure you cannot see on camera right now that the color of my eyelashes is burgundy but in real life you ha you get this glimpse of burgundy in the lashes and it looks wonderful in my opinion I also got a new eyebrow gel I got uh, this eyebrow gel from Too Faced it is called Fluff and Hold Laminating Brow Wax I uh, used this uh, eyebrow gel for a few weeks already and I am 100% satisfied with this eyebrow gel. This product is something I can definitely recommend you. If you have the eyebrow hairs which don't stay in place and you want to fix them, that is a product for you. By the way, it has a brush like that underneath the cap, but I don't really use it. And that is the way the eyebrow gel main brush looks like uh, the eyebrow gel that I have is um, transparent I think this kind of a gel they have only transparent I don't think that they have it in different colors also I got a lip liner this is a lip liner which I'm not sure about yet um, maybe I'll change my opinion but I've used it only a few times I got a nude lip liner from NYX uh, I got it here in Warsaw in Rossmann this is like a drugstore shop here which sells uh, not expensive makeup and stuff like that and this uh, lip liner was really not expensive like in all of the stores like this you don't really get testers so I couldn't try this one uh, in the shop I just saw the color I liked it I thought it's going to be a good nude the color that I have is called SPL 857 nude beige I hoped it's going to be a great nude for me but um, but I think it's too light I don't have it on my lips at the moment I feel it is too light but maybe it's going I'm going to change my opinion anyway if you need a lip liner which is nude but on a lighter side of nude and which is really not expensive I think you should try this one out at least go to the shop and see see it in person NYX uh, lip liner not not a bad option and then the last product is going to be a powder I have never had a premium translucent powder ever before I tried translucent powders from NYX and from Gosh, and those were not impressive at all I I didn't really like it I didn't really know how to use them the right way but recently I decided to give a try to a translucent powder which is very very popular this translucent powder has been on the market for years this is Laura Mercier's translucent powder and I might be wrong but I think that is the first translucent powder that got really popular popular among all of the brands like I, I think hourglass powder got popular after Laura Mercier was popular anyway I saw it here in Douglas in Warsaw 
and I decided that I, I want to give it a try because uh, before I used to have like really uh, high pigmented uh, powders and I, I didn't use foundation at all so I use high pigmented uh, powders of my shade like the powders from Sephora from Kiko and that's it but right now I'm using a CC cream and then I like to uh, just set it with a powder and the translucent powder is just a perfect choice for that and this Laura, Laura Mercier powder is doing its job perfectly uh, when you open it it looks oh sorry it looks like that like a basic uh, translucent powder but I think that it sets the makeup the best way possible. I have had this powder for about a month already and I'm really satisfied with it. You just have to remember to use it properly. Like when you are dealing with translucent powders like this, you don't have to spread them all around your face. You just have to take just a little bit on your uh, face brush, uh, makeup brush, uh, and press it against your skin like that. And then it works, it works really good. So these were all the beauty products that I have purchased recently. I will try to add links in the description to all of the products that I'm showing in this video, both um, clothes and accessories and beauty. And let's move uh, to another product that I want to show you today. The next thing that I have purchased recently is a pair of pants. These are velvet pants by Massimo Dutti. They are in a dark olive color. I hope you can see the color well. Uh, the shape is straight, a little bit more slim than straight, but I really like the way they fit to, to the body. They're not too skinny so that they don't look too unfashionable, if you understand what I mean. And today I'm wearing uh, this pair of pants with a white, not really white, more creamy shade of a top. This is a Uniqlo top. Uh, a wool uh, a wool one i think it is a hundred percent wool top by uniqlo they have it each season in lots of different colors and also i'm going to add a hair accessory to this look this is going to be a new thing in my wardrobe for autumn as well i have been to h&m recently and i was very happy to discover that they have really cool hair accessories there this season and i have got three for myself uh, the first one is a hair clip this is um, this is a black velvet hair clip in a shape of a bow, looks like that on the back. And with this hair clip you can uh, put your hair together uh, on the back and you will have a nice bow right there. I don't want to destroy my hair at the moment so I'm not going to show you how this looks but I'm sure I'm going to, I'm going to wear it in my outfits very soon. Then I want to show you the headbands. I got two headbands in H&M. Uh, the first one is black uh, velvet one and the other one is dark brown velvet as well but you have a braid, uh, braid shape here. So first I will show you the black one. I have worn both already and I really really like both of them. So that is the way uh, the black headband looks. I think you can add this kind of headband to almost any black outfit. I think the brown headband is going to fit my today's outfit even better. Here is the headband on. I think it looks really cute. Also, I have my earrings on already. These are rose gold earrings by Apia Monaco in a shape of a snake. I really love rose gold for autumn especially. And I'm going to finish this outfit right now by adding a trench coat. This is my Burberry trench coat. You have seen me wearing this coat and actually uh, this whole look except the headband. In my video where I went to the pumpkin patch and also showed you some of my uh, new purchases for home and beauty this season. So adding the, adding the trench coat in here, I'm also going to wear with this look my Louis Vuitton white sneakers. I will show you how the full outfit looks, so maybe you can get some inspiration. I think these pants would also look very good with a thin belt. I don't have any at the moment, but I imagine it would look very well here. So these were all of my recent purchases. I hope you liked the video. If you enjoyed it, please subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet and push the like button. It is very important for the growth of my channel. Thank you very much and I will see you soon.